Good morning, everybody. We are out here just north of Volano Beach. Uh, technically, it's St. Augustine, but uh, we're in St. Johns County, and we are getting ready to start a really cool project in the backyard here. We're about uh, maybe a stone's throw from, from the uh, ocean, and we're near Cap's uh, Seafood Restaurant, if you all may know where that is. We're gonna be using uh, a couple of the palms from the front up here, and they're going to be repurposed in the backyard. They're getting a little bit snug up here. So I, I would probably put it more like here, Coop, a couple feet in. So as you can see, everybody, uh, right now we have this beautiful concrete slab. Uh, we have kind of an odd-shaped uh, mound of dirt piled up around the slab. And eventually what we're going to create is an area where there's going to be a hot tub sitting right where I'm, I'm standing. And it will have a sitting wall that, that will allow uh, the homeowners to come in and step over and then step down onto the hot tub. And then the hot tub will sit right here. It's going to require some walls in order to keep this area stabilized. And we're going to have stairs down around this side of the of the hot tub and then some plantings are going to go in this corner and along the fence line we're going to be doing some screening and it will all kind of give this some privacy that you need with the with the tub use as well as beautifying we're going to do remodel pavers over the top of this existing concrete slab so it will all blend together the walls and the pavers will all have the same color so it'll all blend together nicely and give them safe egress on and off of the patio. As you can see right here, the key feature of the project was providing a, a space for the hot tub to sit. And for Miss Powers, the big issue for her is getting in and out of the tub. So we, we did a sitting wall on the patio side of the, of the project. And then we did, so she can literally sit on the sitting wall and kick her feet over and step down into the hot tub. So uh, we start out with a very plain Jane, just concrete slab pad out here. And as you can see, we've transformed the whole entire background uh, of the yard into kind of beachy, aesthetically interesting concept that takes the edge off of the fact we had the fence. We've got some Eagleston Hollies that are doing a nice job and as they fill in, uh, cover this beautiful turquoise house in, in the back. And then we've got a palm which we borrowed from the front yard that, that will eventually grow in and kind of block the, the porch of the neighbor's yard as well. And then to make life easier and lower maintenance, we had the slope and we've incorporated a bunch of Asiatic jasmine to serve as a ground cover. And then because of proximity to the ocean, we're doing a bunch of uh, beachy type plants. We've got Bird of Paradise, uh, Red Sister Tea, and uh, some Arbicola. And then because of the shade, we've got some fern and a few Agapanthus, which will bloom blue in the, in the early spring time. The, uh, the Red Sisters really pop against the uh, brown, and they've also added a, an architectural feature with their, their heron, which looks really great amongst the plantings out here. And as you can see, we, we've done a complete makeover of this patio, so it all blends together. It's all in Sierra, so it all matches. And if you look closely, we've got blade lights under the capstones which afford safety at night, and then we've got blade lights in the steps off of the patio as well. So those are little touches that often get overlooked. And we've got some additional uplighting on a couple of the larger trees out here. And so the whole, the whole thing looks really cool at night, as well as the daytime. And uh, if, if you have some hopes of creating kind of that backyard paradise in your own yard someday, you can call us at Earthworks. We can come up with some creative ideas. Thank you much. Mm -hmm.